champion. He's done it all already. And here is Rosser of the United States. Ran collegially at Cal State University, L.A. So perhaps not on everybody's radar who follows the sport, but as Otto mentioned, having a phenomenal year so far. Capello trying to find the form that got into the bronze medal in the Rio Olympic Games. He also made the final in Tokyo. From Estonia, Rasmus Magi, who has made the last two Olympic finals. He was sixth in Rio, seventh last year in Tokyo. Ludwig Vaillant of France will occupy lane three. He made the world championship final. And staying with the French theme, Wilfried Hapio, European under 23 champion back in 2019. He draws lane number two. And in keeping with the theme of having somebody local occupy the inside lane, here is Hinti. He's run 51.97, and the crowd, as they did in the 200, appreciating and saluting their local star. So I expect lots of war home here, but after talking to Rosser's coach, he may give war home more of a run than he is probably expecting. The world lead is 47-23. I would not be surprised to see Warholm go faster than that, despite this being his opener. He has had a history of running very fast openers, including last year where his opener was the world record. He would then lower that record in the Olympic Games. So the Olympic and world champion and world record holder in lane seven, Karsten Warholm. We'll keep our eyes there, as well as Rosser in six, who ran very well for second at pre. The season opener outdoors for the Olympic champion, Karsten Warholm, in the men's 400-meter hurdles. So Rosser is going to have to chase Warholm to the first hurdle, and he clips that hurdle, and he has pulled up. The Olympic champion is out of the race. Oh, wow. So this leaves the door wide open for Rosser as Warholm is clutching at his right leg. So this has now made a gigantic hole for whoever wants to step up. And so far, Rosser looks good, but to his outside, Jaheel Hyde doing well through the first 300 as well. Yeah, Maggie in the mix there now in third as they come off for the final two hurdles of this race. You say the window of opportunity emerges and taking a stride or two right through it now to the line is Rosser, the American, who will take the win and a new meet record as Warholm can just look from the backstretch with ice on his hamstring, not the story arc we thought we would see today, but Rosser continues his phenomenal 2022 and takes the win in Rabat. Unfortunate for the Olympic and world champion. That's a, a really long win streak that just went bye-bye. And now, with 50 days until Worlds, what does this mean? for the two-time world champion. You saw it was he, he went over one hurdle and that was it. He pulled up and that left the door wide open. Jaheel Hyde and Rossert coming off the turn with the lead. And you had to be impressed by Rossert's last 100 because he really poured on the gas and his reward meet record and his first Diamond League win. So lots of drama here in the 400 meter hurdles as a very long winning streak comes to an end. And a lot of questions now for Karsten Warholm in 2022. So Rosser will celebrate here a little longer as he gets a taste of